empowering communities to empower themselves. That has been the motto the men at the Life Skills Multipurpose Hub have been living by for the past year. On Saturday, the Hub celebrated its first anniversary with an outreach program to help the youth in their community. The Resource Center was launched back in 2020 through a partnership with the Love Foundation, the Kobe Foundation, and the U.S. Embassy through the EcTech Initiative. The Hub's co-founder and manager, Jardine Jurgensen, says the milestone is a solid reminder of how the community is doing its part to bring about meaningful change. First of all, I have to thank the most father, you know, thank the most high for, for this day, you know, because then our long, our long way from last year to, you know, what they up to now, but most important we try to like, give back to the community due to the time of pandemic, you know, things these slow right now, so we take this opportunity if we want the anniversary for like go and eat eating and us give back a lend out to the support to the community because then this is what the, um, the program all about, empower community to empower themselves. The hub was the first of three to be launched on the south side of Belize City and aim to improve communities where gang violence is rampant and opportunities are few. Kobe Foundation representative and partner of the hub, Francis Woods, spoke about how the project has helped to uplift the residents of this marginalized community. This hub is significant because the guys here, well, all the guys, they're really willing. They, 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 they're getting a chance to act on things that they wanted to do for a long time. So we have um, helped them, guided them, and um, gotten the tools that they needed to, to, to do what they wanted. Um, this group has done all kinds of stuff. Car wash seems to be a popular one. But they're also very gifted with planting. And what's neat about the planting is that they're teaching the kids in the neighborhood that they have um, yard sales, they make um, yard tiles, they sold a couple of vehicles, they do um, maintenance, right, air conditioning for companies, they do painting, pressure washing, landscaping, they do all kinds of different stuff. And I'm really proud of them because even though we're going through a pandemic with the COVID and business is basically low, they have still survived. It's been rough, but they have survived. And while the men have found it hard to stay afloat during the pandemic, according to Jurgensen, the goal has been to teach the youth in the area the importance of working hard. I don't open or I don't close the place, you know. So for example, we got the guys in where fall under the youth, we open and close the establishment that they do the maintenance majority of the time when we do out, they maybe do a little job, right? So like I just send a land farm, you know. They're like learning pros them at the same time, then you know, we continue to work with, you know, the adults there with us need to fall in line. But the support for the community, first of all, it overwhelming. Then, um, big respect to Mr. Renner for the ads, the life skills, multi purpose ads, where we work, because then, majority of the time, we get support due to the ads, you know, people call away for them. Um, Plumbing, people car with for repairing. So I must say once again, big respect to Mr. William Rene, senior for the support. We got our ads to run through, right? Because without that, through this pandemic, like that, that the main means are ways of how, you know, things happen like within life skills, multi purpose. And that exposure led a couple from the south to donate a greenhouse so that the local youth can get involved in urban gardening. A good friend from the south, a um, uh, uh, couple. They like the projects and they like the urban gardening part of it. So they donated a greenhouse. So next week we start constructing a greenhouse for this particular area. We've done other greenhouses in other areas that are they're very successful. The Life Skills Multipurpose Hub offers a wide array of services and is located on Caesar Ridge Road in Belize City. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.